Napoleon Bonaparte was a French military and political leader who rose to prominence during the French Revolution and went on to become the Emperor of France. He was born on the island of Corsica in 1769 and received a military education in France. He rose through the ranks of the French military during the revolutionary period, and his military victories helped to establish him as a popular and influential figure. In 1799, Napoleon staged a coup and overthrew the existing government, establishing himself as the first consul of France. He went on to consolidate his power and establish himself as the de facto ruler of France. In 1804, he declared himself Emperor of France, and his empire soon controlled much of Europe. Napoleon is best known for his military campaigns, which saw him conquer much of Europe and establish France as the dominant power on the continent. He fought a series of wars against a coalition of European powers, including Great Britain, Austria, Prussia, and Russia. Although he won many significant victories, his empire ultimately collapsed in 1815 after a disastrous invasion of Russia and his defeat at the Battle of Waterloo. Napoleon was a controversial figure during his lifetime, and his legacy remains the subject of debate among historians. Some see him as a brilliant military strategist and a champion of the ideals of the French Revolution, while others view him as a tyrant who imposed his will on Europe through force and intimidation. Regardless of one's opinion of Napoleon, his impact on European history was immense, and his legacy continues to be felt to this day. The French Revolution was a period of radical political and social upheaval in France from 1789 to 1799. It was sparked by a number of factors, including economic hardship, political corruption, and a growing sense of inequality and injustice among the French people. The revolution began in 1789 with the calling of the Estates General, a legislative body made up of representatives from the three estates of French society, the clergy, the nobility, and the commoners. The commoners, who made up the vast majority of the population, were dissatisfied with the way the country was being run and demanded greater representation in government. The Estates General quickly dissolved into a new legislative body called the National Assembly, which declared itself the sovereign power in France. The Assembly passed a number of reforms aimed at ending the privileges enjoyed by the clergy and nobility, including the Declaration of the Rights of Man and Citizen, which guaranteed basic rights to all French citizens. The revolution took a more radical turn in 1792, when the monarchy was abolished and King Louis XVI was executed. A new government, known as the National Convention, was established, which was dominated by a group of radicals known as the Jacobins. The Jacobins launched a period of terror, known as the Reign of Terror, during which tens of thousands of people were executed for their supposed opposition to the revolution. In 1799, the revolution came to an end with the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte, who established himself as the first consul of France. Although the revolution brought about many important reforms, including the abolition of feudalism and the establishment of a more democratic form of government, it was also marked by violence, political instability, and a deep sense of social upheaval. Today, the French Revolution is seen as a critical moment in the history of France and Europe, and its legacy continues to be felt in the modern world. Its ideals of liberty, equality, and fraternity continue to inspire political movements around the world, while its violent excesses serve as a warning of the dangers of unchecked political power.